in this week's Torah portion, as if just in time for Pesach, we find one of the most fundamental laws of Kashrut. It's the prohibition on eating blood. And if we ask ourselves why that prohibition exists, I think that we can find a lesson that is applicable to us this Pesach as we prepare. For the ancient world, blood was the vehicle in which the soul was carried. It wasn't just a fluid that went around our bodies. It was a fluid that animated the body. And so to consume blood was crass. It was to consume the soul of something, and therefore it was forbidden. Blood is treated with great respect in the biblical sacrificial rites. And that's another reason not to consume it. We wouldn't mindlessly eat what is helping us get closer to God. And of course, there's a greater symbolism at play here. To eat something with the blood still inside it suggests a gluttony, an insensitivity that sits ill with a people that is supposed to have a growing and evolved consciousness. But I think there's a further lesson here that we might want to bear in mind this Pesach. We consume so much on Pesach. We consume all the foods that have the special kosher Pesach label or the recipes that are traditional in our families. More and more lately we consume the special foods that are there to compensate us for what we wouldn't normally be able to eat. Pesach cereal, Pesach rolls, Pesach bagels and so on and so forth. It is easy to become mindless at this time of year. And yet, what better time of year to be conscious of the food that we eat and where it comes from? Are we decking our Pesach tables with chocolate that is the product of people who are being oppressed? Are we eating fruit that has been brought from miles and miles where we could be eating fruit that instead is local. How has the meat that we are eating been slaughtered? How have the workers who produce that meat been compensated? Last year at around about this time, the conservative movement issued a hersha for equal exchange chocolate, being kosher for Passover if purchased before Passover. And this year, my Passover chocolate will be equal exchange, fairly traded, with fully compensated workers. As we read a Torah portion that reminds us of one of the first rules of mindful eating, let us this Pesach be mindful of the modern implications of that rule. Let us eat well, let us celebrate our freedom, let us be satisfied but let us never forget where our food is coming from and what that means. That was your Torah in two.